Hi, Sam here from CrossFit Reclaim. I wanted to shoot a quick video for all my new members joining up that have been asking me about what type of equipment you need to hit the ground running when you first start CrossFit. So I'm gonna go over some of the items I have in my bag and, um, and give you a bit of a rundown on their uses and the essential versus kind of non-essential uh, piece of equipment. The first piece of equipment that I'm gonna talk about is the shoes. We wanna, these, this particular pair of shoes, the size 13, uh, is, a, is a, 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 a Nike Metcon. Uh, the other typical pair of shoe is the, is the Nano. The Nano, these shoes are designed for cross training or CrossFit specifically. They've got a flat sole and a reinforced heel. So when you're lifting weights, when you're throwing kettlebells, when you're doing squats, uh, we want them to be nice and firm, firm through the ankle and firm through the heel. We don't generally in here run further than say 800 meters in one go. So these are pretty good for, for sort of under sort of 800 meters up to around that. If you're running, if we're gonna be doing uh, a run where it's 2Ks, 3Ks, um, yeah, you'll see that on the whiteboard before you come in and bring your joggers for that one. But for exercise that we're gonna be lifting weights in, uh, a pair of shoes like this is great for that. Next piece of essential equipment is gonna be a pair of shorts. Typically, I see a lot of guys come in and they wear footy shorts. Um, I want each of your pair of shorts that you wear to be flexible, and, um, and, I, and I'm just picking up a pair of CrossFit, Reebok CrossFit uh, shorts for these. Um, they're a bit more pricier when you buy them, say, a Rebel or a sports shop uh, or online, but they're definitely worth it. When you're getting into movements, you wanna be able to squat with full range of motion, and you don't wanna have your, your piece of clothing uh, tie you up for that. The second piece of essential equipment is gonna be a rope. Our rope is um, this one here that I'm holding up. Um, uh, I, we have them in the gym, uh, you, can, you can borrow them, but also I recommend that you buy your own. All sorts of shops, we sell them here at the gym so you can get it. You also, what I'll do is when you come in, I will cut it to the right length and you will be able to have that specifically for your body type. So that's another piece of essential equipment that you will need to buy. The, the fourth piece of essential equipment is some form of hand protection, okay? And I've got a couple here. I've got some, some jaw grips, which is a bit more uh, rigid material. Then we've got some sort of same, similar kind of different style, a bit bigger, this one. These wrap around your hands and they go through here and they're a uh, leather on style, so they, they wrap around the hands there and they protect you from uh, getting too many hand sores or calluses when we're holding onto the bars and, and, and whatnot. So they're kind of the, the major parts of the essential piece of equipment. Now, now what I'll do is I'll go over the non-essential equipment. So we've got uh, gloves, um, if you've got really sensitive hands and you're only just starting, gloves are a great way to sort of ease your hands and hand grip into, into the movement such as lifting things, climbing ropes, um, a lot of bar work. You'll find that over time, you'll get really, really kind of strong and tough hands, and this will become really resilient for when you're doing some of those exercises. The next part, part here is, uh, I, I, a lot of people don't use this, but I use this a lot. Uh, it's called uh, goat tape. Goat tape can be found uh, at a, at a, from a place called Road, and this just helps with stopping the bar rubbing on the thumbs. So again, just a piece of protective equipment um, just helps you protect your body a little bit more. The next piece of non-essential equipment is going to be our uh, knee guards. Um, I like to wear knee guards, particularly this brand, uh, TK. Um, and, and what this does, it goes over your knees and it just provides a little bit of extra cushion when you're doing squats, heavy, particularly heavy squats. It actually, if anything, it gives you a, uh, a good feeling around your knees and might, makes you feel a little bit more supportive. I've used them and I like to use them when I'm lifting a bit heavy, so that's what I've got in my bag. The next piece of equipment, um, now this is essential but not essential in one regard, in one regard. these are called rock guards. Um, there's similar products like this on the market. This one here is all about protecting your shins when you're either doing box jumps and mainly rope climbs. So when you're doing rope climbs, we, don't, we want to use these to protect our shins because the rope does slide down your shins. These are a bit expensive, these ones. These are about $50 for two. They're really, really good and they slide right up and I, I use them all the time. Um, if, however, if you, if you can't afford to buy them, just get some long football so socks or really long socks and they'll also do the same thing. Bomey won't be as, as grippy on the, on the rope, um, but, and they won't provide any protection when you're doing the uh, box jumps, but the, um, they still will do the job. So you can get away with just, just socks. This, the next one that I want to talk about is, is Olympic lifting shoes. Now, Olympic lifting shoes are a non-essential item that I would, I would recommend you think about buying. 
Um, these ones here are the Adidas. I think these ones cost me about $200. So they're a bit expensive. I've been crossfitting for a few years now and, and I've obviously over time invested in these pieces of items. But the Olympic lifting shoes are great for anything doing Olympic lifting. They've got a raised heel. Um, they're really, really supportive through the heel. They're even more supportive than obviously the Metcons and the Nanos. And, um, and they're just a really good uh, piece of equipment that if you want to take uh, your training sort of ser more seriously and you want to take it to the next level, um, you obviously need that piece of equipment. Similar to, you know, going and playing basketball on a pair of you know runners that's one thing but if you want to play basketball on the court you've got to go buy some basketball shoes because that's gonna the piece of equipment is relevant for the sport that you're playing so if you have any questions about any of these pieces of equipment or you'd like to go over um, talk about anything that's more relevant for you and your needs please contact me on sam at crossfitreclaims.com.au or simply visit our website and drop a drop a link in there to the newsletter thanks very much for watching guys and i look forward to hearing from you bye